My father is a fine woodworker. I grew up um, around his shop. And so working with wood is a very kind of a, a natural place for me to be in. And so um, I started exploring with um, reclaimed woods and cutting out shapes. And a lot of my work you can see has um, these lines that I repeat over and over. And I love the tactile quality of encaustic wax. It has a kind of opaque quality to it. I'm always looking at ways to visually translate how I'm seeing the natural world. I'm inspired by pebbles, leaves, trees, cactus. When I come into my studio, I do a lot of sketching. That's kind of the memories of what I have absorbed being outside. So I, I have wood scraps that then I will cut. I like to cut them kind of freehand. I don't uh, have a precise shape I'm cutting. I'm kind of feeling how the wood wants to shape. I lay them out and kind of uh, essentially sketch in real life with the form. The next phase is uh, treating the surface of the wood with encaustic wax. And then at the last stage is the um, carving stage where I am putting those repetitive marks on the surface but then afterwards I rub a color pigment into the line work, um, wipe it away and that motif is revealed. I always feel like that's when I meet the sculpture for the first time. I'm very excited to be doing these um, pieces for CBCA because it really does show this a marriage of art and business, supporting an artist's career path and having the opportunity to show and sell work. Um, it's, you know, the making of the work is part of an artist's um, uh, practice, but also uh, having your work sold and being in the public is part of uh, the art practice too. So to be in a place where I can do this um, and be in an art community, be in the Denver art community and do this full time is just such a pleasure.